Camille from Camille I Am, and as you can see, I'm in a little bit of a different place. You might have noticed that I haven't been posting very much, and that is because me and my husband have been really busy buying a house, and over the summer, we are going to be renovating it, so today I just kind of wanted to walk you through it and show you the house before we tear it apart. The house that we bought was built in 1951, so it's a mid-century home, and I really love that style, so that's kind of what drew us to the home in the first place. And it does have a lot of good bones and features to it, like these big windows, but it hasn't been updated in a really long time, so we wanted to kind of remodel it and make it more our style. So if you wanna follow along with the whole process that we will be going through this summer, then make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below with any ideas or stuff like that that you have, and let's get on to the video. room that you see when you come into the house this is the living room and I really like a lot of things about this room so we're not planning to change too much and keep in mind it is really empty right now and that's because we know we are going to be remodeling so we're not going to move a bunch of stuff in here and then only to have to move it right back out um, but some of the things that I really love about this room are the hardwood floors. These are original hardwood, and we kind of just want to sand them down and stain them a different color. And I also really love the huge windows in here. Of course, I'm a huge plant lover, and these windows are perfect for all of my plants. Um, so the main things that we're going to be changing in this room are just like light fixtures and baseboards and paint and stuff like that. we have two bedrooms and one bathroom back here and I'm just going to be walking into the second bedroom this is probably going to be an office because we don't have that much need for a second bedroom but we're not changing that much in here again just kind of the paint the baseboards and the hardwood floors just like the living room Right across from the guest bedroom slash office is the bedroom that we are going to be making into our master. And it's kind of the same thing as the other room so far, but we're not changing a whole bunch. Um, just kind of updating the light fixture, doing some paint and baseboard work, and then also restaining the hardwood floors in here as well. And of course, some new decor. Now we have the bathroom and this is probably one of the bigger projects that we're going to be doing in the house. Right here in the hallway we kind of have some storage and cupboard space. Um, and one thing that we don't like about the bathroom is that the door opens really far out into the hallway. So we're kind of just going to be shifting this over to here, the doorway, and kind of adding a barn door right here. And we think that that would save a lot of space in the hallway and in the bathroom. The bathroom is really outdated. It's complete with a pink bathtub. So this is kind of going to be a full gut job. I'm just kind of doing some new tiling work in here, updating the fixtures. I would also really love to fit a double vanity in here if it's possible. And we're going to be doing a new tub shower situation in here so I'm really excited for this whole transformation that's going to be happening most excited for is the kitchen as you guys know I love baking and all kinds of stuff like that so I'm really excited to transform this kitchen into my dream making kitchen and this kitchen has a lot of potential we're going to be changing a lot like I said it's kind of going to be a full gut job as well so we're going to be doing some new cabinetry and over here there's this big window and we're thinking of building a big built-in breakfast nook so I'm really excited about that and we're kind of just going to be rearranging everything, um, adding an island right here with some cabinets on this wall. And then there's a big wall right here that we are thinking of kind of taking half of it out. And that will kind of open the kitchen up a lot more to the living room and just make it more of an open concept kitchen.
The last room upstairs is the laundry room, which is right off the side of the kitchen. And we would just be doing some small things in here, just kind of updating the cabinets and the floors, repainting and getting some new appliances. One of the really huge selling points about this house is that it does have a basement apartment and this ended up being really perfect for us because me and my husband don't need a ton of space right now because we don't have any kids or anything so I really love that we could use the basement area for something other than living space and it does have its separate entrance through the garage right here which is really nice because we don't have to have anybody walking through our house or anything like that but we do need to do some major renovations down here before we get someone living in here so I will show you that now. The basement apartment definitely has some of the most hideous features of the house so we're definitely going to be updating it by painting the wood paneling getting some new cabinetry in here and kind of reconfiguring the layout just so that it's a little bit more livable apartment has two bedrooms and one bathroom and we're not really changing that much about the bedrooms just kind of painting and doing some fixer-upper things here and there but this bathroom is definitely one of the things that has got to go it has like this blue toothpaste stuff like tiling all over the wall and so we're just going to be doing like some new stuff in here and there's actually a window that is supposed to be behind that wall that there's already a cutout so we're going to be re-adding that in um, and just kind of updating it all around. This is the front of the house and we're definitely changing this door to kind of more of a mid-century modern door, but I'm really stumped on what color I want the door to be with this color of house or if I want to paint the house and have a different color of door. Comment down below letting me know if you have any suggestions. I'm really interested in what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching this whole before house tour. We are really excited for all the transformations that are to come and make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our transformation videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.